hey guys welcome back this is jackie at all things by jackie if you are new don't forget to subscribe and follow the retainee thank you so much for always tuning in this video is a continuation from the previous video where i started off by shaving up i would say i was just shaping up the first video of about like this uh, tv cabinet or tv stand that i made out of box this is me with my husband trying to put on the contact paper that I was supposed to, to put, to use. The intended one that I would try to use from Walmart. Guess what? It was not working. And at first, I was blaming the contact paper. I thought the problem was the contact paper, but it turned out that it was not. The problem was the, those white, well, whatever, paper that you're seeing that I have put on a box for before applying the contact paper that was my biggest problem but I didn't realize that till everything was done because this contact paper is the same contact paper that I used for something else in the house and it worked perfectly fine so yeah we tried we struck all this contact paper this thing we put on we took off we put on we took we tried everything we could but tell you what the train was not enough we did everything i was getting frustrated husband was there to comfort me he was like everything is going to be fine i know you're going to do this you know him trying to make me feel better about myself but now it didn't work i even we even went ahead because husband was like no when we are tending them cars we use water for the tending whatever those black things that they put in the car windows we used we used water so maybe we should try that we tried that guess what this is cardboard this is boxes right so when you are using water the box was getting wet and when it was getting wet it was making those wrinkles and i did not like the wrinkles at all i didn't i didn't like it at all so i was getting frustrated but then i, I was like okay let me get this other contact paper that i used in the kitchen on my kitchen countertop and the kitchen wall wall as the backsplash and everything i was like let me try to use that one tell you what I didn't like it also because the problem was not the contact paper or anything the problem was the thing that i used the paper that white paper it was too soft so the contact paper was not sitting on very well so i was like oh you know what let me just go get more foam boards from the dollar tree we drove downtown got the foam boards as you can see we applied the foam boards and i got this other contact paper from walmart tell you what it was going on so smooth everything was easy from this point on okay everything was very very easy so it turned out that the problem was not the contact paper at all it was myself right at this point as you can see i'm applying the contact paper on my front edge of the tv stand and yeah i'm basically repeating the process for everything else so you guys can continue watching As you guys can see, the TV stand was taking shape. It was looking so nice and all those kind of thing. At this point, I went and bought another white contact paper and I'm applying it on the inside and there you see, so that the box won't be transparent, so that you guys won't be seeing the boxes or visitors coming in my house and they're seeing boxes. So yeah, I do tell people that it's boxes though, I do. And that is the amazing result that we achieved. <laughs> yes, are we not the best? Yes, just come on, come on. Are we not? It's very nice. That thing that you're seeing on my coffee stand, on my coffee table, that one I made it out of boxes, so it's just a remote box. And the other one on the side is just like a small ornament that I made just to go with everything. I covered my two boxes that you are seeing at the bottom there. It's just two empty boxes that I covered with the same contact paper that I used for the TV stand to go with the TV stand. And as you guys can see, I was able to achieve this amazing result. You know, how much did it cost me? Very, 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 very little. Okay, it wasn't a lot of money. But I would say I, I wasted the first contact paper, which was like $11. But rather than that, I used one contact paper, one contact paper for the TV stand. That is $11. And then another one contact paper for inside the TV stand. That's it. And what else? The phone bought $1. So let's say this is under $30, a TV stand under $30. And I shift this and everybody that comes to my house, they don't believe that this is boxes, guys. <laughs> yeah. 
can you like if i hadn't tell you and just showed you this would you think it's boxes i don't think so i don't think so everybody that comes to my house is amazed at how talented i am okay <laughs> at what my hands can do and then my husband he was in the room and when he stepped out he already found he found this thing already shaped and everything he came to help me apply the contact paper on yeah but by the time he came i was already done it, it already had the shape and everything so he was surprised i was like what did you do I'm like you yeah come on <laughs> yeah i'm always like that guys i'm always like that I'm, I'm always excited so i'm always excited i'm not over myself i'm just excited always i'm always the happy soul and i'm grateful for the Lord for opening my eyes to do this beautiful thing. And all those gold things that you're seeing in the inside on the table, all those are DIYs, except the plate and the, that, that gold thing inside the plate, the, the whatever, the metal one, something. Those ones I got it from the Dollar Tree, but everything else that you're seeing, the flower pots and everything else, DIYed by yours truly, Jackie. Unfortunately, I did not record uh when i did all those ones and those ones that are coming in those are my videos that i that i did i will be putting their links down in the description box below if you want to see what i did how how i did it but in overall thank you so much for coming along on this adventure thank you bye now